What's going on guys? I'm Tristan. Welcome back to Straight Line Solutions. I've got a short little video for you guys today. Just kind of giving you some updates on some future projects, some things you'll be seeing on the channel, a couple things you might not see on the channel, but you'll notice in some upcoming videos. Uh, first things first, the uh, Supra. It's gonna finally get some love. Most of you can see that right there. Finally got our proper drift brake for this thing. That is a Twisted Images drift handle. They run about a hundred and it's about 195 bucks after tax. Pretty well designed, good little piece of equipment here. Comes with a Willwood, uh, I think it was a five eighths bore um, pass through master cylinder it is actually a willwood but uh yeah should be helping us get this thing a little bit more sideways kind of help throw it around get some 180s out of it and make for some interesting content we've got some plans for this thing the power steering finally works got the drift brake coming in this this whole thing has been every single video we've made has been no power steering and the handbrake has been worn out for about a year now so it doesn't hardly lock up the wheels at all in fact the last video we made i couldn't get it to lock the wheels up at all so i was using the the normal brakes yeah. but uh got drilled and slotted rotors coming for it new pads and I am pricing caging material. We're gonna cage it front to rear, just like we did with the Dowdy. Try and get this thing a little sturdier. There's a lot of rust under this poor car. It's been rotten out for years. It was rotten when I got it. We're gonna try and correct that a little bit, get some plating down in the floorboards, get it solid. Next up on the list is the old blue tow truck. Blue. A couple of you guys have probably seen that video. I know several people like this build. Uh, this is my 86 F250. It's got a 5.0 C6. It's got the lighter duty rear axle. I'm not sure yet. I still need to check on gears, but uh, we've got our parts truck here. And it has a full floater rear end in it. But the important part is we've got headers that should bolt right up. This truck's got terrible exhaust leak and no oxygen sensors, so it runs really rich all the time. So we're going to get headers put on there. That may or may not end up being a future video. But like I said, got the full floater rear end. That's the important part. This truck is terrible about sagging when we put a car on the back. And I actually just figured out why. Um, those are heavy duty leaf springs for a three quarter ton. I mean, I'm not gonna talk them. They're, they're way heavier duty than what we got going on here. The ones on blue are very dinky. And if you look over there, we're actually missing two leaves one of them's broken and still laying in there but that is why this truck sags so bad so anyways bear with us we're trying to get some content out trying to push these things through a little bit as well as trying to live our normal day-to-day -day life um we'll get videos out as we can and i think jace is working on getting a couple dowdy videos out i know you guys seem to like that thing the biggest thing that could be happening is hit that like and the subscribe button. It'll really help us grow the channel. We're trying to make this our our normal gig if we can. So if you guys can do that for us, that'd be great. Thanks.